the final shot. All right, the final shot. Ready? Ready? Three, two, two one. Don't you just love those days where it's just all overcast and it's raining and the weather absolutely sucks? Well, I actually love those days because it's actually perfect lighting for photography and everything, so I'm super keen to get something done today. Do you like this weather? I love it. No, I love this weather because it's not too cold. So Beautiful. Yeah, it could be 10 degrees warmer, I'd be happy, but this is all good. Del, what about you? Do you like the rain? She doesn't like the rain. This is from yesterday's thumbnail. I was actually really proud of that thumbnail. So symmetrical. I actually got a comment the other day on one of my videos saying that my thumbnails are actually better than the photos in my vlogs. And that's probably true. Because <laughs> I actually put a lot of effort into these thumbnails. And usually in my vlogs where I'm going out and taking photos, like I put effort into them, but like I have a specific time constraint. And with the thumbnails, it's like I'm not filming or anything. I put my full focus into the photo rather than filming as well as getting the photo. You know what I mean? How does this even dry? I swear this is not even drying. It's getting more wet as I'm drying it. It doesn't make any sense at all. Hey, special delivery. It's from Sto Photography, S-T-O Photography. I have no idea what's inside it. They just said that they'll send me some stuff and I could do a vlog on it, photography. I don't even, let's open it. <sighs> feel like it's Christmas. Yeah. Do you like the match cut? It's all right. Did you like the match cut? <laughs> let's see what we've got. Okay, there's a lot of- Oh my God, Jesus Holy Christ. Holy crap. I just cleaned my room. Yes. Ah. Dear Hayden, I hope you enjoy the neon and colored paint powder I've sent. These can be used to really add color and creativity to your images. I have a challenge for you. Oh, Ooh. we have a challenge. I want you to complete a shoot with the theme rainbow. I want you to show your inner creativity through color. I look forward to seeing the results. Good luck. We got this in the bag. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. More paint powder as well. Okay. I really hope this doesn't explode in my room. Pink, blue, yellow. Oh, is that green? Ooh. Ooh, it ooh. sounds all sensual. You're yeah. like, ooh, green. yes. <laughs> Never done something like this before. I've said that that many times. <laughs> Every single photo shoot that I do, <laughs> I swear I just have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this one I actually have never had any experience <laughs> with before. Have you ever done paint? Stuff? No, I haven't actually. This is a world first. <laughs> You've been doing photography for a lot longer than I have. So it's I like- have. I actually watch a lot of your videos. I'm like, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> but this one we actually have done. I've actually never done as well. So- Exciting. I'm, I'm actually excited. Yeah, this will actually be a challenge for once. Yeah. For once. For yeah, once. you're arrogant about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Subscribe to North Borders. No, <laughs> I don't know how much it actually stains clothes. So wearing something like this, it's probably not the best thing to do. We've got some clothes, it's not even mine. Is this all right if we use this? Like, well, you're already holding them, so I don't want to touch your germs now. So you might as well just- Yeah, I just- <laughs> <laughs> The location's sick, but Look at this. We've got a fence. What am I gonna do? What, what am I gonna- Do you know where you're going with this? Or? No, we're just gonna, what? Well, no. We're just gonna wing it? We're just gonna wing it. Okay, we need to find a hole. <laughs> well, that one, that's a bit, I don't even know if you can see that on camera. There is absolutely no way that I'm getting under that. <laughs> hey guys. How's it going? Okay. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Imagine if like, for some reason, you were able to just jump all the way up that, you're trying to jump over it, but then you just kind of landed on something like this. What would you do? What would you do? The fact that this is here just goes to show that we're not the only ones that go here. So I feel a bit better about that. You don't mind, Mike's just getting changed in the background there. But <laughs> any, anyways, I was really hoping that the weather was gonna be kind of cloudy today because obviously it was like raining before, it was perfect. But now it's just completely flipped over onto sunny weather. How are we gonna take good photos when the lighting's this damn harsh? I guess that's just pushing us as photographers. We'll see if we can get photos that look good with terrible lighting. Ah, holy shit. Ah. I'm sure we'll figure something out. All right, it's finally cloudy. We're all good. Because the whole idea is doing the rainbow thing, we've decided that it's a better idea if we just chuck it all into one bag and then just like kind of <laughs> throw it out or something. What do we do? It just... <laughs> <laughs> What's the texture like? It's like chalk. 
Ah, uh, okay. Rubs into your hands. Yeah, this will work well. When you call my name, when you call my name. taking a few shots and they haven't turned out nearly as well as I wanted them to. Like the paint just keeps going in front of my face and like I want to be able to see my face in the photo. So the problem is we've used up so much of the paint, we've only got one more bag left. So this is literally the last shot that we can do. Do you reckon I should look up at the camera like that? Yeah, for sure. In three, two, one. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> is there still something there? No! <laughs> is there still something there? Yeah, it's still sunlight yeah, though, again, surely. I actually didn't, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> the final shot. All right, the final shot, ready? Ready, three, two, two one. one. Maybe. That was all right, surely. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> what? This one is the best. Cause I'm literally. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the bag literally <laughs> flying away. <laughs> I just like, as soon as that happened on the inside, I was like, Hello, darkness, my old friend. Do you reckon we got a good enough photo for it? Yeah, definitely. We still got our last shot actually turned out really good. And I'm going to try and mix and match some other photos we just took with that last one. Alrighty. That was a fun shoot. Once again, going out of your comfort zone. Like that's just always the best thing to do. Anyway, so. The photo. When it came down to it, we had no idea where we were going to shoot, but Mike ended up deciding to go to this place with all the trains and stuff. And because it's outside and because it was a kind of windy day, the paint powder obviously is really light. So if you throw it up and it's windy, it's just going to blow away. And that's pretty much what happened. So we actually found that we had to throw up the paint in time with the wind when the wind wasn't actually at its peak. So pretty much when there was no wind. And that took a fair bit of trial and error because sometimes when the wind stopped, we would throw it up and then it would just start again just like that and it would just be kind of annoying but that's just a part of it so one of the things that i'd say about it is we would do it in a controlled environment next time somewhere like indoors like an abandoned place indoors rather than outdoors where there's no wind as soon as you throw it out like it's gone you can't just grab it back and then just put it back in the bag and keep reusing it like there's only a limited supply so next time i would probably ask for more paint powder or i'll just have more of a plan to the shot and just be like okay this is the position I'm gonna do. This is how I'm gonna throw it. And that was another thing actually, like throwing the paint in the direction of like kind of diagonal or up just did not work at all because every time I do that, it would just go in front of my face and I wanted my face to be in the photo. So I found that in the last photo, which is, this is the final photo, we actually ended up getting it right because I ended up throwing it downwards. So it would go out towards downwards, out towards downwards. <laughs> so you can clearly see the paint going outwards and it goes away from my face. So my face is completely visible. So we got the shot, really happy about it. So that's my edit. But then Mike wanted to do a bit of a different edit. He sent me this email and this is what he said for me to say to you. Editing this image was by far the hardest. I tried to combine some other images at first to make one image, but it didn't work out the way I imagined. So I went onto Google found some copyright free PNG images and placed them into the photo until I was happy with the new composition. Then I gave it a quick edit, fixed up a few things like dark in the neck as well as the subject and then making the mask glow as well as making the image pop more with the colors. Overall fun shoot, but I definitely could do better. I rate the photos seven out of 10. So obviously like his edit is a lot more like poppy and rainbowy than mine. So in terms of the actual challenge, achieving the rainbow thing for the challenge, he definitely achieved it, but that was with Photoshop. Without Photoshop, we didn't achieve it. So, Stow Photography, Stow, Stow, whatever you are, please send me more paint because I wanna do it again. I wanna get this rainbow shot this time and I wanna get it right. I know I can get it right. It's just doing it on the first time. Like, it was just really hard. <laughs> All right, so now let's find a question of the day. Fucking hell, 180,000? Woo! All right, question of the day. What's your favorite video that you've made so far? Oh, on the top of my head, 
I love the insane illegal flare photography that I did up in the up in the snow with North Borders and Seventh Era and that model. That model, I should know a name. That's so bad. God damn it. I, I feel like a piece of shit. Another one that I really liked was the levitation one. Like the one where I threw the camera up towards the camera. I really liked that. Even though I made that video just by myself, I wasn't with any other photographers or anything like that. The way that I structured that video and the way that I approached that video and like just my ideas with editing and everything like that was completely different pretty much from all of my other vlogs. And like, I think that shaking it up like that made it one of my favorite vlogs that I've ever made. And it, it's funny because I just made it in my backyard. There's so many other videos that I love that I've made myself, but Again, there's just so many videos, so I just can't think of them on the top of my head. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me. You know what to do. It's up to you. Like, you don't have to do it, but it Anyways, it was awesome hanging out with you again, and I'll catch you next time.